President Biden taking aim at the country's growing gun violence crisis, unveiling a new plan focused on slowing the rampant shootings and other violent crimes, claiming lives from coast to coast. News Nation White House correspondent Allison Harris joining us live from the White House tonight. So, Allison, what's included in President Biden's plan? Well, Nicole, President Biden has already called gun violence in this country an epidemic and an international embarrassment. Now he's launching a plan to try to slow the shootings as gun violence in this country is only increasing. Spikes in violent crime across the country raising alarms today, causing the president to take action. We're going to crack down on those gun dealers and the violent criminals they knowingly arm. The president, unable to get gun control legislation passed in Congress, is instead announcing new strategies to slow crime, focusing on gun violence as gun deaths are up more than 20 percent over last year. Communities with high crime rates feeling desperate. We as residents have to deal with this type of stuff with people coming up dead in front of their doorstep. The the president's plan takes steps to stop the illegal trafficking of firearms, establishing a zero tolerance policy to revoke gun sellers' licenses if they break federal law, gives more help to police to fight the anticipated summer rise in crime, invests in community violence intervention programs, expands access to summer jobs for teens, and helps formerly incarcerated people re enter the workforce. It's an outrage. It has to end, and we'll end it, period. Violent crime is surging across America's biggest cities. At least eight people were killed, dozens injured. Conservatives blaming the crime crisis squarely on the president, suggesting it's a problem since he came into office. The president's spokeswoman pointing out the rise in crime has happened over the past 18 months since the pandemic began. <laughs> Some Republicans link the crime bump to calls to defund police. They want to defund the police doesn't make any sense. I'm glad that he understands it's a problem. It is a problem. Today, that charge brought a firm denial from the White House. He has never been for defunding the police. And the president also said today that leaders of cities and states can use money from the COVID rescue plan to hire more officers as departments across the country are seeing an exodus of officers. Officers resigning and retiring. Police chiefs saying they're having a hard time attracting recruits and keeping morale up in the midst of this crime wave. Nicole? Yeah, Allison, it's certainly become an issue. All right, Allison Harris live tonight in Washington. Thank you.